What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 untethered using Snowbreeze for Windows on your iPhone 4, 3GS new and old boot ROM, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gen devices as well as the iPad and Apple TV. Now this part's a little tricky so listen up. Basically Snowbreeze is a tool that preserves your iPhone's baseband. If you don't know what a baseband is, go into settings, general, about scroll down and right here is what your baseband is now I'm gonna to explain to you guys which baseband's are unlockable and which ones are not I created this chart guys to help you guys out make it a little less confusing so if you have any of these baseband's right here in settings you will be able to preserve them and unlock on 4.3.1 if you have any of these baseband's down here on your 3GS we'll be able to convert them to the 6.15.00 baseband and then unlock on 4.3.1 and of course we're going to be doing this in Snowbreeze. Now if you have any of these baseband's on your iPhone 4, you're out of luck because there's no unlock available for that. One last thing guys, I want to let you know that Ultra Snow is broken on the 4.3.1 firmware and it will not work when you install it. And the dev team does know about this and they will be releasing an update very quickly, a few days, maybe a week from today, April 4th. So if you're watching this so maybe a week after April 4th, you won't have to worry about that. Now I do have a secondary temporary fix that may or may not get your ultra snow working depends on which baseband you have and I'll show you guys that in the end but just to let you know if you have no service that means that the dev team is working on an update and you just haven't got it yet we're gonna need two things we're gonna need Snowbreeze 2.5 and our official 4.3.1 firmware for our device if it ends up as a dot zip and doesn't look like this you're gonna need to check the description for a video I made that will fix that all links are in the description where it'll take you a link to my site where you'll find an in-depth guide and all the links you need. Now if you want to do this on a Mac, I'll have a video up very soon of Pwned Tool and I'll put an annotation up here so you'll want to click on that if you want to do this on a Mac. Okay, so without further ado, let's right click on Snowbreeze and run as administrator, yes. Click OK, close credits and next. Here we're going to browse for our 4.3.1 firmware file. It's going to process it for just a bit. And here, because I have a 3GS, it's asking me whether I have a new or old boot ROM, and it wants to know this so I can put custom boot logos or not. So I'm going to click new boot ROM because I do know. And next, I'm going to click expert mode, general. And here we're going to enable gestures if you really want them, the multitasking gestures where you don't have to use your home button and I'm gonna enable them and I'm gonna activate my iPhone now if you're using this on an AT&T iPhone this jailbreak you're gonna wanna deactivate this because it's gonna leave you with no service so make sure to activate it only if you're using a non legit carrier then click next and this is the part where we can convert those baseband's that I showed you guys these down here to 6.15.00 and if you really wanna do that to unlock click it but I do not so next and build IPSW and in just a second I'll be back alright now that Snowbreeze has finished you're gonna wanna plug in your device click OK and once you're on this screen you're gonna turn your device off alright so now we're gonna go ahead and click start and in five seconds we're gonna hold the power and home together so two one hold them both together for ten nine eight seven six five four three Two, one, let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Snowbreeze should recognize our device in just a second. Alright, so now it's putting it into Pwn DFU mode so we can restore and it's done. So click OK. Close up Snowbreeze and now in iTunes it's going to tell us that our iPhone is in recovery mode. Now once we get this error we're going to click OK and hold shift on our keyboard and left click restore. On our desktop we're going to find the Snowbreeze IPSW that we just built and click open and restore. So now it's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes for our device to restore and be jailbroken on 4.3.1 or preserve your baseband and I'll be right back. 
I want to warn you guys though, you may have some errors, you may have some problems here and there. That's why you're going to go and read my article and read the whole thing because there may be some information there that I missed in this video that I added because many of you guys were having the same problem. So if you have any problems, make sure to read the article and that will help you guys. Once we're back up and running, we're going to slide to unlock and we should find Cydia inside now. Open it up and you're jailbroken on 4.3.1 untethered. Now if you were looking for an unlock, we're gonna go into Cydia and we're gonna search for Ultra Snow. And we're gonna click on Ultra Snow, install it, and confirm. And it's gonna respring your device. In the end, of course, if the update's not out yet, you won't have any service, but I warn you guys, just wait a few days and the update will be out and Ultra Snow will work, you'll be unlocked. The update by the dev team for Ultra Snow to work properly on 4.3.1 may take a while, so I have a temporary solution for you guys, and it may not work for everyone. It's restricted to some certain baseband's, but you can always try this before the update comes out. So you're going to want to go to Manage Sources, Edit, Add, and we're adding this source right here, DJB6.com, like that, and click Add Source. Now, I have had many errors with this loading. I've had to try it several times in order for it to get to work, but in the end, it should it should work. So just keep at it, and eventually you will get the source down, and I'll be right back. Once completed, you'll now see a source called DJB6's repository, and inside, we'll see Ultra Snow Fixer for 4.3.1. Now, make sure you've installed Ultra Snow already before installing this, and go ahead and install it. And again, it may not work for most people, it should work but there are no guarantees this is just a quick temporary solution before the update so if it doesn't work no worries just get the update when it comes out so thanks for watching guys really hope i helped don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and enjoy your unlock and jailbreak